Well, next we're going to a story from Waterloo's tech sector, which could have big implications. A team is banding together in a new nonprofit to build what's described as the world's first open source quantum computer. CTV Spencer Turcott now on why worldwide access to this kind of a computer could help solve some of our toughest problems. So what you are seeing here is a uh our trapped iron uh, quantum processor. And it's in the process of being built at the University of Waterloo's Institute for Quantum Computing. The point of building it to break down barriers. If more people having access to the technology, the better in general for the society. The problem is few people in the world have access to these powerful machines. A quantum computer helps solve complex problems far quicker than a regular computer, such as finding a specific drug molecule that binds to a protein so that it cures a disease without having a bunch of side effects. The trouble is quantum computing has commercial and intellectual property protections, often used in the for-profit private sector. So that's where Waterloo-based nonprofit Open Quantum Design comes in, hoping to change all of that. All of the plans from the bare metal, the vacuum chamber that you can see, and all the way up through all the software stack to the end user, all of that will be made completely open and accessible. By essentially making the blueprints available to as many scientists and researchers as possible, countries can build their own quantum computers to design new drugs to battle diseases like malaria, which is not a priority for profit-driven pharmaceutical companies. So open quantum design is the world's first open source full stack quantum computer. If it reaches its potential, uh, it, it will change humanity in a lot of amazing ways. The hope is that the computer will be complete by the end of this year or by early 2026, something that's been in the works for the Institute of Quantum Computing for quite some time. It's an investment that is over almost 10 years. So, and it is millions of dollars. It means that we can reap the benefits. Benefits for everyone, thanks to this democratized approach to quantum computing. Spencer Turcott, CTV News, Waterloo.